time at the Jerusalem Jewish Film Festival, where the Jewish Martha Stewart, Jamie Geller, is premiering her new culinary web series, Joy of Israel, as well as launching her new cookbook that was released in the US already a week ago. The food critic of her arts in English, Judy Maltz, admits she has not seen a new immigrant to Israel becoming so famous in so little time as Jamie Geller. As you can see, she's, she's wildly popular. She's got a whole following here. She is probably one of the most famous, if not the most famous, uh, immigrants to move to Israel from the United States in recent years. And she does live in Beit Shemesh, which has a very um, large Anglo-Saxon population. So uh, she had a, a built-in following as soon as she set foot in the country. I actually uh, spent a day with her in her first week here last year. And, you know, the neighbors were just coming over every night, bringing her food. They all knew her or of her from America, so she's certainly not a stranger to Israel. <laughs> Neil Gellert, Jamie's husband, is probably her biggest fan in the whole wide world, as he's been by her side from the beginning of her very successful career. I knew I was marrying a star, but we didn't know I was going in the food direction. Sometimes, you know, we walk around, it's, it's hard really to go anywhere and not, you know, someone doesn't stop her, say hello, or, you know, ask for her email address or her Twitter account. So it's, it's, it's nice. It's great to be married to someone who is always happy with what they're doing, what they do for a living, their profession. A happy wife's a happy husband. Hundreds of Jamie's fans showed up for the premiere party of The Joy of Kosher, and Jamie, being the most down-to-earth celebrity, gave everyone the attention they deserved. It's amazing. It's the most warmest reception. And I remember when we announced the uh, New York book party and everyone in Israel said, what about us? And the Cinematech uh, decided to screen the film and it gave us a wonderful opportunity to have a book party here as well. So I'm just so happy to give back and meet everyone here because I love Israel so much. It's wonderful to celebrate here as well. I love it. Usually when I'm cooking, it's like no makeup, you know, like uh, walking around the house, like you have the same stresses as a normal mom and you forget like you're working so hard and what you do it all for. So this is the best part to hug everyone and meet everyone and see that they receive the book so well. Jamie is undoubtedly the perfect example of someone who decided to move to Israel and didn't have to give up her U.S. career as a result. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Cinematheque in Jerusalem.